Hey, this is Tony with Boppet Business Spotlight Channel, and I am here with Kimberly Hansen, who is the Museum Manager of Education for the City of Las Cruces Museums Department. How are you doing today, Kimberly? Hello, I'm good. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what the uh, City of Las Cruces Museum System is all about. Well, the Las Cruces Museum System consists of four different museums. We have the Brannigan Cultural Center, the Museum of Art, the Museum of Nature and Science, and the Las Cruces Railroad Museum. And we focus on, of course, art, culture, science history and uh, the impact of the railroad here in Las Cruces. Where can people find these museums at around town? Well, we have the four locations. Uh, the Railroad Museum is at 351 North Mesilla Street over by the railroad tracks. It is the historic 1910s depot, so it is our oldest facility. It's very historic, very cool building. Um, and then the other museums are between 411 and 501 North Main Street. The Science Museum is at 411. The Cultural Center is at 501. But we're all right in a row, so you can visit several museums all at the same time. Tell us a little bit about what the Museum Manager of Education, uh, what is your role here? Well, my role here at the museum is to oversee the education programs that we have here at the museums, which include programs, tours, lectures, camps, community events, outreaches, and basically any of those things that we work with the public, either people visiting here at the museums or outreaches and community events where we go to them. Tell us a little bit about what your background is and how did you get involved with all this? Oh, my background, interestingly, I have a degree in math. And then after I got my degree in math, I was like, well, what should I do with a degree in math? And I was like, eh, I don't know. Um, and so with I took a class in museums when I was in grad school and I thought, hey, museums, that's that's a lot of fun. That's very interesting. There's a lot of variety. It's it's very intriguing. It allows you to learn new things every day. So I kind of followed that path, did some work in a mineral museum back east, uh, learned a lot about minerals and rocks and uh, education out there. And then one day I was looking for a new job and I was like, hmm, Las Cruces, New Mexico, they're looking for an educator. This could be fantastic. And so I moved here. Um, I had the job as the education curator at the Science Museum for several years, and it was great. I got to indulge in my love of science. I got to inspire other people to have a love of science. And uh, then the position opened up for the managerial position and I applied for it so I could you know keep learning keep expanding my skills and now I'm learning a lot more about art and culture and history um, as we are coordinating programs for all four of the museums. Now uh, the museums themselves is there a certain um, admission prices that goes with visiting any of these museums? You're gonna love this answer all four of the city museums are free. That is totally cool. Now for folks that have lived here for a while or folks that are traveling through Las Cruces for vacation or transients or whatever, why should they come and visit any of the museums here in Las Cruces? Well, we do offer a variety of exhibitions. We just opened a new exhibition at the Art Museum. It's called Here and Now. It's a regional jury exhibition with um, multiple types of artists. We're at the Cultural Center here. We currently have an exhibition about uh, early childhood literacy, um, which unfortunately is closing really soon soon. It's closing June 2nd, but um, if anybody is interested in early childhood literacy, and you might recognize some of the books in there, like Where's Spot, The Tale of Peter Cottontail, and A Snowy Day, which was a Caldecott winner, but people are really enjoying that. We've got a wonderful exhibition about art quilts, and then we also worked with uh, the some people at NMSU to curate an exhibition about poetry and southern New Mexico, because April was National Poetry Month, and uh, we've been getting a lot of people who have been coming in and leaving us little poems um, as they learn about it. So we change exhibits at the Art Museum and the Cultural Center on a frequent basis, so there's always something new to see, particularly if you have a love of art or culture. At the Science Museum, we do have a great focus about the Pelozoic trackways, which are found just outside of town and are a record of Permian times here in New Mexico. We also, of course, have our Chihuahuan Desert live animal exhibit, because who doesn't love live animals? Um, reptiles, amphibians, and fish of the Chihuahuan Desert. Not everybody realizes, but there are fish in the desert and we have several examples that you would find here. And then, of course, I mentioned our Railroad Museum, which is the oldest building in the museum system from 1910s. And so the Historic Depot, if you're really into history or if you're just fascinated by these giant trains and the mechanics that go into
into it. We've got a lot of really great things to do there, particularly for families. Of course, I like I said, I've been to the museum, the Railroad Museum, many times. Uh, my son loves going there. We love seeing the model trains and, of course, that big play area that the that have the toy trains that they can play with, too. So last question that we have for you, uh, if anybody has any questions about uh, your education programs or any of the mu- museums in general, uh, how do they reach out to you? Well, you can reach us in multiple ways. We, of course, have our website, which is museums.los-crucis.org. You can also reach us on Facebook. Our tag there is LC Museums. You can also you know, follow us on Instagram or Twitter, um, any of our social media platforms. You can also reach us uh, by phone, area code 575-522-3120. Or if anybody has any specific questions, they can always reach me via email at museums underscore education at loss-crucis.org. Well, there you have it, folks. Kimberly Hansen, Museum Manager of Education for the City of Las Cruces Museums. And you can give them a call, 575-522-3120. Go by. Check it out. 411 North Main Street. See what the museums have to offer. Or you can, again, go to their website, loss-crucis.org forward slash museums. This is Tony with Bop It Business Spotlight Channel. Thank you for listening.